Oh boy, we got uh, we got some stuff lined up for today. All right, hopefully, hopefully the game decides to uh, behave today. But yeah, things were going down when we left off. Episode 6. And, you know, again, these load times are probably going to be really long, unfortunately. What I can gather, my choices are put up with these load times or have a crash all the time. So I chose load times. Previously during the investigation. Welcome to Greenvale. Agent Francis York Morgan. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. Emily. Which room is Emily in? If that wasn't a reversed peace mark. Right. A tree. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. So George being the raincoat killer makes no sense. Because he was with Emily at like every crime scene that we went to, yet we were attacked by a raincoat killer. So, I don't know how to explain that. Hopefully the game does. There. 
Yes! We're playing as the raincoat killer. Yo, look at that guy go. Come on, I'll get to throw it. Oh, okay, I've got a destination to go to. Got it. Solid wall. Get away from me. I hope I'm going the right way. Doesn't look like I am. Well, this sucks. I guess we're going all the way back. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. <clears throat> oh, no. This actually was a dead end. Dude, oh well. It's just gonna take a while now, I guess. Oh wait, can you just not get over there? Is this on a timer? Or is this just a matter of I need to kill everybody? Hey, cab. <laughs> There's eleven gongs.
Okay, apparently it was on a timer, because we're out of there now. <laughs> oh, that was fire. Okay. <clears throat> I still don't understand what it is they want me to be doing right now. Like, am I supposed to be going somewhere? I don't understand. Like, there's a marker over there, but you can't get to it. So I don't know what they want me to do. Like, I hope I don't fail something by running out of time here, because I have no idea what they want me to do. No, I was supposed to do something. Because whatever it was I was supposed to do, I failed it. Oh, you can't pause here either, so if the pause menu had helpful information, I wouldn't know. See, so yeah, if anybody's watching, um, I, I'm willing to take back seating on this. If, if somebody knows what I'm supposed to be doing, just, just tell me. You know, don't spoil any story, but just tell me what I need to be doing.
Because the place it's telling me I need to get to is blocked off. Like, there is no way to go in that direction. Oh wait, did I figure out a way over? This isn't blocked. Well, it wasn't blocked. Okay, yeah, I must be going the right way now, because it's blocking off behind me. Oh, so this was locked until that point. So you, even if you got here early, you just have to wait there. Of course. <laughs> wow, the most surprising twist ever in the history of media. Oh, 
Oh no, even they're evil. Yeah. Jeez. The situation has gone way out of control. Say that again. We need to get inside the theater. Now seems like a good time to save, yeah. Zach, they're currently being controlled by an unknown force. Let's try not to hurt them if we can. Ah, crud. Oh, right, there. We're going in. <laughs> okay, so... We're, we're past the point where the game usually crashes for people, I guess. need it. Open this door. <coughs> there is no turning back. You still want to enter? Very well then. Off you go, Mr. And finally, you arrive, York. George is dead. You've got nowhere left to run. George! Oh, right, George. <laughs> he was a funny one. I gave him a toy locket, and he was so impressed. <laughs> so moved. <laughs> but. He wasn't very intelligent. He was born in this town, you see, and, and it took him too long to discover the Red Seeds. Binding down people's rules is a sign of small-mindedness, and that was what George represented in life. That's the weirdest way of, of somebody saying all cops are bastards I've ever heard. Oh, but I can't allow that now, can I? York, you left her to me in my care. This twist is so stupid. I told you to come with us, didn't I? You must remember that. But you didn't come. You chose your job over the woman that you love. Casey. This chit chat is over. Oh, indeed it is. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. Gross. It was a fantastic moment. <laughs> like eating a full course dinner that ends with the ultimate. I hope. Well, no, the dog can't be evil. All dogs are good dogs. Story about my How you doing, by the way? Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. There you go, York. That's right. <laughs> Feel the hate boiling from the bottom of your stomach. 
That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. <laughs> Just like tiny ants that make giant ant hills. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucks. You know, I just had dessert, and yet I'm already hungry again. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing at keeping a diet. Casey, stop. The next one will pierce you between your eyes. <laughs> what the fuck? York. Emily, it's me. I'm here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. York? Is that you? Oh, thank God. York, I... Emily, no. That isn't me. York. York. Mm. Emily! <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Excuse me? It's okay, Emily. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. I, I can't. I, I can't go to you. I've... I've been soiled. What? That's not true. You have a heart that can't be soiled. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. York. Saplings to sprout requires a, a certain technique. <laughs> what do you think? Artistic, isn't it? It's like a serialistic painting. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? York, shoot me. Are we finally going to find out who Zack is as soon as this cutscene loads? Oh, have you seen this one coming up before? This will be good. Too late. Once it's like this, I can't do anything to stop it. Please, darling, <laughs> shoot me. I'd rather die. If you love me, let me die. <laughs> <laughs>
What the hell? At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. <sighs> yes, I, I, I couldn't do it. However, you can. When the time comes and you have to make that decision, make the right one. Okay, Zack? <laughs> I saw you, Zack. Hey, Zack. It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. I'll be with you always. We can get through this together. Who are you? My name is York. Me and you. We'll always be together. Okay, Zach? I'm you. And you are me. Now. Wow. Give me your hand. I remember. I traded places with York. York, the other me. My other personality. Uh, uh, uh. Zach, please, please shoot. Kill, kill me. York. What should I do? Tell me what to do, York. Zack, you have to decide for yourself what you must do. I'll be with you no matter what you decide. Don't worry. There are some things in this world that must be extracted. No matter what. Even if that means losing someone that you love. So who is York then? Wow, he missed. I can't. I can't do it. I can't kill Emily. I'm sorry, Zack. Stop. Ow. Emily! Ladies and gentlemen, and now the grand finale. <laughs> Emily, what have you done? Zach, I wasn't used as soil at all. You're beautiful most beautiful person I've ever seen. Thank you, Zach. I 
Emily, no. You aren't supposed to go over there. That's not the way. Come back, Emily. York and Zack. Finally, I understand. You two really are best friends. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. got to meet you face to face but you had to go with York didn't you he always gets the girl he's a good guy you see that too right he kept talking to me and ended up pulling me back out of that room I'm sure he'll make you very happy I'm not saying a whole lot, it's because I don't really know what to say. Stayed in there. How many magnum bullets have got left? Oops. Just stayed in there, Zack. 
Probably a good thing I bought a bunch of Magnum bullets before before we finished. I'm sorry. Um, I have questions. First of all, what? Goody, we get to do this stuff. Enjoy this sound for the next who knows how long. It's like comboing me, dude. Nope. I'm wise to your tricks.
my arm's getting tired. I'll squash you like a frog. I'm not done. I'm just gonna do it with my thumb for a while. I'll squash you like a frog. I'll squash you like a frog. I don't know who thought this is a good idea, but screw them. Thank God. Emily, I will avenge your death. Just a moment longer. I'll buy you a new dress to make up for all the pain I've caused you. The dress you wore when you came to my hotel room didn't seem to fit you right. <laughs> What the heck, dude? <laughs> I really don't want to be wasting magnum shots. <laughs> oh, Magnum bullets, nice. Yeah, I kind of do need those. Hey! 
first hand. Die! Crap. Oh, come on. You done? At least I bought a ton of magnum bullets at some point, so we should have enough for this, provided I don't like miss a ton. Annoying little bug. This is the purpose. You can advance the control. So there you are. I just gotta figure out where the weak point is. It's probably some dumb puzzle boss crap. Oh, okay. So his fist, um, had a targeting thing on it, so I guess we're doing that. So I just gotta wait on him to punch again now, I suppose. Hey, we shadow the Colossus now. What do you think you're doing? You're an annoying little bug.
great, so if you don't get him in that phase, he heals. Oh, I think he jammed the doll down the front of his overalls, and I have to shoot that when I get up there. little bug. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't get a good shot on it. Yeah. 
because you don't understand humans. <laughs> what? Huh, okay. Yeah, that happened. Hmm. So I want to know what happened to Willie. Willie better be okay. So Kaysen was like an alien then? I, I don't understand. Why did he do any of that? I don't know why, but I'm upset at how little this plot makes, how little sense this plot makes. <laughs> <sighs> so now my computer's gonna let us sit here and... Okay, no they're not. Uh. Emily, York tries not to show it, but he's pretty shy. Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. So, where do we go from here? I think there's an epilogue chapter, so we'll see what that's all about, but my god. Video games. Yeah, I kind of want to see the previously. Just a hot second here. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I like it. I like weird shit like this. This had better be a really good previously on Deadly Premonition video because it's taking forever to load. This game isn't on my SSD. I'm going to move it. Investigation. York. 
other me, my other personality. There are some things in this world that must be extracted, no matter what. Yark, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Uh, uh, why can you cause me pain? Uh, 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 a red tree! Oh, that's... Are you Harry. leaving today? Maybe. Zack, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. There's a calming beauty to it, and yet it exudes sadness. Harry, I have a few questions for you. About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stuart, is it? Yeah, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? The same reason as your father. Long, long ago, I too was unable to shoot my wife. What's worse is that I was also unable to kill myself. Which is why I lost both. The woman I loved, and my son. My wife suffered from a mental illness, but I still loved her. I wanted to save George too, if I could. Everything was my fault. If only I had the courage to make the right decision, Emily and the other girls would not have died. But you have put an end to all of that. I wonder if they are happy. Zack, no need to worry about that. York will guide Emily and the other girls into the forest. Okay, I don't know why the loading screen went off when it's still loading, but uh, it did, I think. I heard you're leaving. We'll go back and play that cutscene that I just skipped after uh, 
after we finish. Uh huh. That's right. It's a shame about Emily and the other girls, too. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zach there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zach. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. The guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two. Be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Girls are boring. Exactly. Hey, Willie! Yay, Willie! You gotta love him. Just full of energy. Willie could never betray us. like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York. I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Mr. Francis Zach Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, Please, let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well, then. I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. Ah, thank you, Michael. Okay, so there's a save point here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game real quick, and then I'm going to reload, and we're going to play that cutscene that I accidentally skipped, and then we'll continue. So I'm actually just going to quit out of the game and restart it. Hopefully that'll fix some of the frame rate, too.
Previously during Oh, um, yeah, I've, I, I need to chapter select. I forgot. So we're going to have to gex it out again. This is just taking me back to where we were. My bad. Try this again. Previously during Okay. We should be back at the beginning of this chapter again now. There. Uh Okay, um crap. Alright, we're just gonna have to finish the uh We're just gonna have to finish the chapter and then go back, I guess. That kinda sucks, but you know, if that's that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do, I guess. <laughs> Previously. All right, so we'll finish everything and then we'll go back and play that cutscene after I can select this chapter. York, can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, York. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I so who is York? On my own. Oops. Fine, everything's fine, don't worry about it.
Whoops. So this is apparently where the speed run calls time, so I think we're done. I think it's all cutscene from here on out. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. Zack, it's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? Then this is goodbye, Zack. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zack. And sleep tight. Polly, what's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were Oh yeah, Case is the same me. age in that picture. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend, then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Did Emily die? No. She became the goddess of the forest. Even now, she is still in the forest with York. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa, can I ask you something? 
What kind of person is York? York. He's a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. Huh. What's your grandfather doing? I don't know. He's calling me Emily again. Oh dear, he must be losing his memory. You are Louise, honey. Michelle Louise Morgan. Not Emily. You know that, right? I know my own name, Mom. I know you do, baby. You're just so lovely, Louise. I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess. Okay. Everybody goes Mom, by their middle name in this, in this town, I guess. I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so. But I've never met one. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Oh, thank you, honey. If I am a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs> Do you believe those stories that Grandpa tells? You believe them, Louise? 
They're all just made up stories, dear. All fiction, like your picture books. So all my picture book stories aren't true? Oh, don't twist things around, Louise. You just want to know everything, don't you? Here, take this dinner to your grandfather. Go on while it's still hot. Mom, I understand what Grandpa's talking about. I've got Mr. Teddy, just like Grandpa's York. <laughs> Very nice, dear. Now off you go. Hold it straight or you'll spill the soup. I've got it. Episode 7 cleared.
Zack, it's great to see you again. How many years has it been? I've been close to you the whole time. You probably couldn't see me, but you felt my presence nearby, right, Zack? I never thought you'd get married and have a family. Quite a surprise. I spent years honing my profiling skills, but I never saw that one coming. That's what makes humans so interesting. And that's why I just can't leave you guys alone. More than anything else. Seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask for. Anyway, Zack, did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months, there's been a string of bizarre incidents near New Orleans. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea, and then they completely lose control of their bodies. Deadly Premonition 2, oh man, it's happening! But first, more loading. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. I know you feel it too, Zack. Okay, Zack. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then, it's time to wake up, Zack. Dun dun dun! All right, so I'm gonna go play that cutscene that uh, I accidentally skipped. Previously, during the invest. Harry. I wonder if they are happy. Okay, I think this is the one, so I am not going to touch the controller. Put that down. Probably take. Oh, there it goes. All right. Hey, Michael. Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. All 
Oh, that was that was the whole thing that we missed. Yeah, that was the whole thing that we missed. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in like 10 minutes, and then I'm going to stop the stream and restart the stream because um, I'm this will be the end of the YouTube series, I think. And then, um, so, you know, don't go anywhere. The stream's going to be down for literally like five seconds. And then I'll, I'll bring it back, and we'll do some, some of the extra content in the post game and that stuff. So... Yeah.